let's take a look at alembic and different type of options so we we have here a um, a creased polygon cube a cube that's meant to be subdivided and a regular geometry this is not meant to be subdivided so let's imagine we have a mixed model so if i export take all of those and uh, go to cache alembic export selection to alembic i have uv and creases let's take this um, alembic cubes export selection let's jump over to mari let's add an object alembic cubes and um, here we go so here we see it we see it that that's the cube that's not meant to be subdivided this one is meant to be subdivided and this one is creased so that's why it looks so strange here so if i now uh, hit subdivide and let's take three and uh, just nothing touched here and just hit ok and we see ah we got a problem so uh, uh, this one should be subdivided and it doesn't and that's because in the alembic it needs to have a um, a, uh, a tag so subdivision mesh and that's something that the mari or the maya exporter doesn't know anything about so that's something we have to add to the shape node so if i read do it so then we have this option um, that was added in uh, mari to be able to sub force subdivide um, that might work if you have, if everything is meant to be subdivided so you, then, then you can have the four subdivision let's set it to three and hit ok so uh, now this one works correctly but this one I, I didn't want that one to be subdivided so what do you do then so then we have an option to actually on the geometry in Maya add a string um, so let's go back to Maya. So if I open the a um, outliner here and uh, on the shape node, so if we s search for alembic increase uh, subdivision mesh um, the top one is documentation on the Autodesk forum so what we can do we can add this subdivision mesh attribute so if I just copy this name here let's take this one Take the shape node and add attribute. In the long name, I add this subdivision mesh. It has to be a boolean and hit add. So under extra attributes on the shape node, there is a tick box now, subdivision mesh. So if I now export this, so this one will get subdivided because when you add the creases to an object, it adds a, um, I think it actually adds this token or this string to the object somewhere. It's not visible, but if you would inspect it in an ASCII format, you will see that it leaves this uh, somewhere in the stream. Uh, let's go to cache, export selection to Alembic again. Let's alembic cubes B. Let's 
let's take this LMA cubes B. So there we go. So uh, if we now go to subdivide and use three one uh, three levels, so this one was creased. This one was a subdivision, and this one is a poly, and I didn't want to subdivide it. So that's a way to, if you have a mixed object uh, model, some things is uh, creased, something is meant to just be subdivided without creases, and some parts is maybe like really strange geometry that doesn't, that can't be subdivided, or some kind of CAD or whatever, that's not been properly modeled you have to kind of leave it as a polygon. So that's a way to uh, use a mixed uh, model. But then you have to add subdivision mesh on the one that doesn't have creases. Um, yeah, that's a way to use alembic and creases. And while we're at it, if we look at at the actual um, smoothing options here on the let's take sharp edges smooth corners and see what happens and that's now we have a, so this is different UV scheme so that one is definitely not I mean, we have um, three objects on each other, so if we take, if we hide, hide some of them, maybe hide. So that's, yeah, that one is, is not a good one, I guess. Sharp edges, sharp corners. This one retains the edges and corners. So that's the UV smoothing. Um, so that's something you have to play with and see what, what works best on an object uh, and render basis. Okay. Um, that's it. Thanks.